Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Transport. What progress is being made on the Government's High Productivity Motor Vehicles Routes Programme? Honourable Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, good progress is being made. The Government's invested $45 million in improving bridges nationwide so heavier loads can be carried on them. The first of a number of these have been completed on State Highway No. 1 we are near Wongarei, uh, the Otaika Stream Bridge No. 85 and the Kauri Ra Railway Overbridge are now operating as high productivity motor vehicle routes. Question. Supplementary question, David Bennett. What are the benefits of the High Productivity Motor Vehicles Routes Programme? Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, it means that motor vehicles can carry more freight per trip. Accordingly, they reduce the number of trips that need to be taken. For example, the Otaika Stream Bridge took approximately 56 truck crossings a day, six days a week, making this part of a nationwide high productivity vehicles route uh, and means that it saves about 14 truck movements a day. As well as productivity gains, that's good also for the environment. Honourable Members, I have received a letter from Chris Hipkins seeking to debate understanding Order 386, an announcement of a plan to move...